Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. The Lord says, Is my arm too short that it cannot save? The Lord loves to save. He loves to turn things around when it looks hopeless. Look at what he did at the Red Sea for the children of Israel. He's doing that for our country. I just know with every fiber of my being that he is not going to let this country down. And you will see it and know it with your own eyes. The Lord has done miraculous things for me in my life. He has done absolutely lovely things in my life. Now, I know this may sound silly, but I think about this sometimes. Many years ago, probably in the late 90s or so, early 2000, I can't remember the exact time. But I was out golfing with some people. I'm a terrible golfer. I mean, to me it takes strength to golf, a lot of strength. I might do pretty good on the first swing, but... I was holding the group up because, now this sounds pitiful, but I think I counted my swings at one point. It was about 28 to get it in the right spot. But someone was making fun of me, and it hurt my feelings, the things they were saying. And we were at this point where you had to get the ball over this body of water and someone said oh she's never going to get that ball over that water and I just said a prayer to the Lord I said Lord please get that ball over that water for me I just prayed to the Lord about it I said please help me get that ball across that water and you know what when I took that swing I felt power in that swing and it hit that ball perfectly and I heard the whiz of the ball as it took off and it traveled at the fastest pace I just can't describe it it was perfect in other words It went across that body of water, and I just kind of laughed to myself, and, oh, thank you, Lord. I mean, it surprised me how perfect it looked and perfect it sounded. And it only took that one swing, and it was over. I don't think that other person made it in one swing. If I'm correct, I could be wrong on that, but... I don't think that person did as well as I did on that one swing. But I got so ashamed about how bad I was doing during the golf game. I told people behind us to go on ahead. (laughs) I felt sorry for them having to wait on us. But anyway, we finally got through that day and I don't think I ever went golfing again after that. Now, I do like the miniature golf. That isn't as hard on me and other people behind me. But I remember that the Lord answered my prayer. And the Lord is in our lives. He is. Even in times when it seems like it is nothing to anyone else, but it can be very 
stressful for us, the things that we're going through. When we pray, God is going to be right there and he's going to answer our prayers. He sure did me that day. God is not going to ignore our prayers on something as major as what our country is going through. God is right there. God is going to save us. God has done mighty works for me. He has done many lovely things for me down through my life. But you know what? The most lovely, amazing thing that he has ever done for me is when he died on the cross. He died on Calvary. He shed his blood that I might have salvation. He redeemed me from the pit. He redeemed you from the pit. It is up to you to accept that gift. To say, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Lord, I give you my life. I make it right with you. And he will sure hear your prayer. He will come in. He did that lovely thing for you and for me. Jesus is the sweetest name I know, and he's just the same as his lovely name. That's the reason why I love him so, for Jesus is the sweetest name I know. I love him. I love him because he first loved me. And purchased my salvation on Calvary. God loves you. Don't you forget that. God will never leave you nor forsake you. God's arm is not too short that it cannot save. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.